Hello and welcome to another Weka tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can produce a precision recall carve. Uh, that's a really, really wonderful uh, and useful uh, visualization tool to see the classifier performance. So in the last tutorial, I've, I've shown you how you can use the rock carve to see the performance of your classifier. And uh, most of the times in the literature, the PR carves the, or the precision recall carve and the rock carves are uh, really, really um, uh, useful tool. Uh, so right after the rock carve, I'm just going to show you how you can use the PR carve as well. So I'm using the same R file as before, as in the last tutorial, and you can see it's a diabetes.r file can be found in the Weka data repositories and uh, this R file is having tested negative and tested positive two classes there. So to produce the rock curve, sorry, to produce the PR curve, I'm going to use the naive based classifier to classify. And on the result list, again, uh, sorry, on the classifier output, you can see the cost insensitive analysis the precision recall and F measure. So precision recall curve is uh, sitting in the middle of cost sensitive and cost insensitive uh, analysis of your classifier performance, but it's still more to the cost sensitive part. So in order to produce a PR curve, you just right click on this result in the result list. You can go to the visualized threshold curve, just like the rock curve tutorial. And uh, you can see that we are having two options there because our diabetes.r file had two classes, tested negative and tested positive. So uh, we're just interested in tested negative. If you click that, you can see that we're having a rock curve here, but we're not interested in rock curve in this tutorial. We were interested in rock curve in the last tutorial. So uh, in order to produce a precision recall curve, your x-axis is going to be recall or true positive rate. Okay, And your y-axis is going to be precision so that's your PR car for this classifier and you can see uh, well you will see that uh, this this PR curve is not is not a bad one is not a good one but to me it's more to the good part because in PR curve so this is the precision axis and this is the recall axis so one one is uh, desire is the desired graph to be produced from any classifier, any good classifier. So if your classifier is more to the right, upper right corner, so that classifier is the best classifier you're having. That's the perfect classifier. And this is not, this cannot be, oh, this can be seen in many cases, but usually this doesn't happen in most of the empirical analysis. You're not having a perfect uh, PR car for your classifier. So uh, you can see that in this in this uh, PR this PR curve is more to the upper right corner, and this is not a perfect one, but this is not a, a bad one at all. Uh, so this PR curve is a really good one. So more to the upper right corner your PR curve is, the more uh, the better the classifier is. So that's the conclusion. So I hope that helps. If you really like my tutorials, don't uh, hesitate to put uh, click on the like button and also try to subscribe on my channel uh, because I'm trying to uh, be very frequent uh, in the uh, last few uh, in the next few months because I'm I'm getting some reliefs from my PhD work. So I'll I'll be trying my best to produce more work tutorials on different uh, uh, different topics. So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to la put likes la for my tutorials and thank you very much. Next tutorial I'm, I'm going to cover, you, cover how you can compare multiple numbers of uh, rock carbs produced from uh, different types of classifiers. Thank you very much.